What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. I've just watched Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and let's talk about it. Okay, so Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is a very big movie. It's much bigger than the original one. Now, I actually just re-watched the original one yesterday before uh, seeing the sequel, and I forgot just how funny and how um, imaginate imaginative yeah how imaginative the original one was the original one the original Beetlejuice does a great job of world building in this weird Tim Burton underworld story that he's telling the sequel is much bigger there's a lot more going on there's a lot more characters there's more interaction with the underworld there's also more interaction with the real world. Uh, the first movie was largely contained in this house, whereas this movie is beyond the house in a lot of ways, um, in the, the community, but also in other parts of the country. So it's much bigger. A lot, like I said, a lot more characters too. Um, Beetlejuice's ex-wife played by Monica Bellucci is in this. You've got, uh, uh William Defoe's detective guy from the underworld. Uh, there's just a lot of characters that are in this. You've got Jenna Ortega's character. You've got Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff happening in this film. Now, I watched some reviews on this movie that said that there was too many plot points where the first film was fairly simple. This film just has way too much going on in terms of plot. And... I disagree with that to an extent. So, yeah, the first movie was pretty light on plot. But it still had a pretty decent plot in it. It just didn't surround Beetlejuice. It really didn't even surround the Deets. It surrounded um, Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis's character. Which, by the way, they are mentioned in this movie. And I felt that their mention was satisfactory. But this movie... There are, there's a plot um, around William Defoe's character, around Monica Bellucci's character, around Winona Ryder, around Jenna Ortega. There's a subplot with Catherine O'Hara. Um, obviously, Beetlejuice has his plot. So everybody kind of has their plot in this movie. And it all kind of comes together at the end. But I didn't think there were too many plots. I think the issue here is that the movie wasn't long enough to give all those plots a satisfying conclusion. So I think this movie could have benefited from being an extra 20 to 30 minutes longer. Honestly, it was an hour and 40 minutes long. And I think it could have been 20 to 30 minutes longer to, to, to fully flesh out all the plots and all the characters that they had. Because at the end of the movie, when everybody finally comes together, everything just kind of ends and gets wrapped up very quickly. To the point where it was extremely noticeable how quickly everything was wrapped up and how just in a nice bow everything was tied. And I think having a little more time to let these subplots breathe would have been a lot nicer. So that's kind of how I feel about the way that this movie was. I, I, you know, it's... It's not as good as the first one, but it's good. It was like I was entertained the whole movie, thoroughly entertained the whole film. The problem was it just it was it wasn't long enough to uh, it wasn't long enough to to finish the story that it was telling. It set up all these plot points, but it didn't satisfactorily finish all these subplots. So I just feel like, yeah, it it was too short. It, it, everything got wrapped up too quickly. So Jenna Ortega was great. Um, Winona Ryder, obviously, um, great job as Lydia in her return as Lydia. And, and kind of she just felt like the same character. So I really like that. Michael Keaton hasn't missed a beat. I know he's 30 plus years older now, but man, he, you know, he's in his 70s now. And he still has a lot of energy, a lot of comedic chops, and I thought Michael Keaton did great. Catherine O'Hara was funny. She um, she stole this. She stole some scenes, 
and uh, I, I really felt like the way that they handled um, the death of her husband was uh, was was funny. There there was some laughs in that. So overall, yeah, it's a good movie. It, it's just not as good as the first one. And the real weaknesses, like I said, is just it didn't have time to let the subplots play out. So, I don't know. If I were to give this one a score, I would probably go 7 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10, maybe. I enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite movie of the year, but I enjoyed it. So, take that for what it's worth. Have you seen Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Let me know in the comments below what you thought while you're down there commenting. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.